All right, just gonna do a quick clean up on these two. Probably wind up just uh, painting these. These are Craftsman's. They're actually brand new by the looks of it. This one's been used, I think. Anyways, we'll clean them up. Paint them blue like the rest of them. Add to the collection and in this, rusted pretty good. Uh, I don't have one this small. So I was hoping to clean this up and save it. I'm gonna find out, I'm gonna set it in some vinegar. Let it sit for a few days and see what happens. As rust as it is, it probably would take a couple days. All right, after a few days, we'll clean that up, and put them both through both of these, every all three of these through the wire brush, and then see what we got. All right, start off this video after soaking this little T handle in some vinegar. Neutralize the vinegar with baking soda. Some of the rust cleaned off. I think this might turn out pretty good. I don't know. Let's see if I get another brush here. Yeah, I got a brush right here. I think if. Uh, cleans up. Oh yeah, rust broke loose. Cool, it's been sitting for three days in vinegar. So, I think uh, after I put it on the wire wheel, maybe a little drum will work. This is actually in a pile of tools I bought, just old junk tools at the pawn shop. I didn't even realize it was in there. Turned out nice, actually. It looks like the rust is going to come up pretty good. And while I'm at it, I want to clean both of those. Those are the last of my chisels. Yeah, this is going to turn out all right, I think. A little brush. Clean up these threads. I think if I keep this oiled all right. Like I said I don't have a little one like this for my little kit. It's a Chinese kit. And it's not really well stocked, but at the time that's all I had to buy, so I'm trying to build my kit back up. I like these little, this little T-handle, work really well. All right, well, let's let them soak for a little bit in this baking soda to make sure it neutralizes everything. And then we'll put them on the wire wheel and the Dremel and see what happens. All right, let's start this grinder up for the wire wheel.
right, I'm just going to do a little final cleaning on the T. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly. How I'm going to try to keep this from rusting. I may just put a light coat of grease on the threads and the rest of it coated with a little bit of oil. You can see the dust coming out of it. A little bit of rust inside there. It's probably the best I can do with that clean inside of these threads now. Trying to see down inside there. Looks pretty good. It's hard to tell. Caught my glove. Well, that sucked. That'd be a good one for the video, though. Well, ruin that brush. Well, that sucks. Check that out. That was stupid. All right, let's try something else here. See if I can get inside with this. Nope, can't get inside with that brush. Yeah, I don't have any other brush, really, that I can get down in there. That sucked. Threads on there fine. Yeah, threads on there fine. Right at the end, right there. Let's see if there's any rust on the threads. No? It's actually. So if I if I put a little grease on this, I bet that will work. Yeah, it's tightening up just fine. Boy, this thing's pitted bad. Look at the pitting on that. There's no name. If there is a name, you couldn't tell it anyways. But I don't have one like this, so it makes it nice to clean up. All right, I'll coat it with some grease and a little bit of oil and paint these and show you the end. All right, be back in a little bit. Oh, and just to let you know, that sucks. <laughs> All right, finished the chisels. Turned out nice. Finished the ends. Both craftsmen's. I still need to find out what WF stands for. And then this works good. All I did was grease threads and just painted the rest since I was I thought about oiling it but I think it'll stay keep from rusting I'm gonna touch that up just a little but anyways all right that's just a little video just to show you what like I said is it's pitted pretty good and it's got a lot of uh, rusted but it works good now compared to what it looked like in the beginning I'm, I'm happy all right well that ends this one. Folks, have a good evening.